Hey guys, welcome to the second part of my tutorial on how to create and animate your very own cute pixel art John McClane character. Man, I can't fucking believe this. How can the same shit happen to the same guy twice? In the second part of the tutorial, we will learn how to create a really nice running animation for our character. Well, hopefully we'll be able to create a better animation than that. Uh, so this is part 2 of the tutorial. In the part 1 we uh, actually created this character. And if you missed that part, you can always go to my channel, uh, check the video there, or uh, follow the link in the description. Uh, so in the second part of this tutorial we will actually uh, animate this character. We will create a really nice, fun and uh, like you know bouncy uh, running animation. So uh, yeah, let's start. In order to create our animation, we will need a tool called Timeline, which we can find uh, in the menu here. Uh, if you go to Window and choose Timeline, we have this panel here, and we just click on uh, Create Frame Animation. And here you go, this creates the first frame uh, of our animation. Uh, so uh, one thing to remember always, uh, the way we will be doing this, is for each frame we will have its own corresponding layer. So um, I will show you straight away. So let's create another frame. Uh, it duplicates the previous frame. And now for this frame number two, we need to create layer number two. We call this first layer num John number one. So we know for layer one we have uh, for layer one we have frame number one. And on layer two we duplicate this uh, layer duplicate layer and we call it John number two. All right, so now we have both layers visible here and here. So let's go to frame number one and hide John number two. Now let's go to frame number two and hide John number one and show layer John number two. So now if you see uh, we switch the frames and the layers also switch. That's good. So uh, if we want to see uh, it in action, we go to John number two on frame number two, pick a color, make a line, and press play. Okay, we have animation going on. So that's cool. Let's erase it by pressing E. And if we have some weird eraser here, let's remember to go here hold choose eraser tool uh, in the mode it should be pencil and we put the size to uh, one pixel so now we can actually erase this cool uh, so what will happen on the frame number two uh, we will uh, actually create the other keyframe right so in this frame we will uh, put this arm forward and this arm backwards so we can choose our eraser tool and start to modify the frame. So let's make sure we are on layer number two. I would remove like a pixel here, pixel there. Uh, I'll pick this color. You just press Alt and you can pick colors and just draw an arm here and on there. All right. Uh, so we have some missing part of the shirt here, so we can actually do it like this. I think something like that will work as well. All right, that's cool. So now he's doing this with his hands. Um, and obviously, you know, in this situation, if you want to make like a bumpy animation, I would actually uh, move the whole character a bit upwards. So we do this, all right. And now we need to change the legs as well. So in this case, we will kind of have this leg moving forward. Uh, so because it's always in inverse, right? So you move the left uh, arm uh, forward and the left leg should move backwards. So how do we do this? Uh, we will do this in a really simple way. Um, you know, if there is a shadow here, we just do that. Cool, and we just add a few pixels here and few pixels here. It kind of looks like, you know, he put his leg forward and the other leg uh, backwards. So that's fine. And if we play the animation now, does this little jump. Um, 
actually let's do this animation a little bit slower so we can see the progress uh, so I would go here and choose other and put something like 0. Point, uh, sorry I cannot see anything here 0. 0. Uh, 0.06 I think that will work it's a little bit slower but not enough so let's try 0. Point, so we can select both frames and just go here other 0. 0.08 let's try that okay okay that's fine that's fine so uh, actually for um, some games this animation would be enough but it's not enough for me I want to create a more fun animation and a bit more sophisticated uh, so um, we have these two frames but actually our final animation will consist of six frames but don't no, no worries uh, it's not gonna be a, a lot of work uh, we will copy some of the frames and just modify them slightly and I will show you in a minute what we're gonna do so uh, in this in this frame uh, I would actually bring the whole character a little bit uh, down so let's choose John 1 and I would leave the arms here but I would move uh, the head down so how we can actually do it uh, you know just piece by piece you know I just take this part I move him down a little bit cool and I just take this part and move it down a little bit okay it kind of feels like he is you know going a little bit down and now he's up and uh, for now we will create just the base movement you know we just move some pixels around and then we modify everything uh, that we need uh, inside of the sprite so I will duplicate this frame for the third one obviously as we did before I would say we choose duplicate layer create John number 3 cool and now we need to hide John number 2 in this one we hide John number 3 now it appeared in all the frames so we need to go through each frame and hide him and leave him just in this one the third one and ju by just doing this, look at that, moving him just one pixel up, we already improved the animation. It's already smoother and it's already cooler. I kind of like that. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so now we need to make a few changes. So if he is down in this uh, position, now he's up. Um, in reality what would happen your head would if you want to create like you know this kind of a fun animation we would actually uh, still keep the head in the same position on this frame almost in the same position I would move it down by one pixel again so uh, you know how we did before let's move this down oh yeah oh yeah I need to select the layer the correct layer let's move it down and now this part as well Cool. Now what happened? He is down, and now the head is still there, but now it jumps. So let's see how that looks. Okay, that's cool. That already gives a little bit, you know, disconnection because before we kind of moved the whole frame, and now like different parts of the body are a little bit more independent, which always creates a really nice effect. Cool. Um. And now we can do actually a little bit of the motion blur on this frame. Uh, it's always an uh, interesting effect to do. It creates kind of gives a feeling to create a, a bit more frames than there actually are. So uh, a really good visible thing here are eyes. So we just let's extend them a little bit like this. Just by doing that, you will see uh, how the animation will change. It becomes more alive now, more alive. Cool. So now we need to do something with these two frames because we just have the head moving, but probably the arms would move as well. So let's pick the third frame and move the arms a little bit up. Like this. And like this. Okay, let's see what happens. 
I believe to deselect something just control D let's see nice this starts to look nice uh, I think we need to do something with the legs as well so I would maybe extend them let's try uh, let's make, make them larger That might be too much, so maybe what we can do is actually go back. This would be the maximum uh, that they can open up. And maybe just remove here a few pixels. Like this, let's try. Yeah, that does create some nice effect there. Cool. So now we need to add. Uh, we can add a little bit of uh, you know face movement because maybe if you kind of uh, doing like with the left arm upwards, uh, like forward, you would move your head a little bit to the left. So let's try to create that on the uh, last frame. So what I would do is you know move uh, this part to the right like this uh, I will do the same with the ear actually I will just redraw it like this okay the hair as well would move at this point something like that Okay, and we can remove this part of the ear, actually. Let's see. Okay, that's cool. But this is only half of the animation, so uh, let's create the other half. So, as I said, like we don't need to uh, redo everything. Uh, there's just a few frames we should, uh, you know, change a little bit but some of them they can st uh, still stay the same so I would say we can copy frame number one which is duplicated and we move it here as frame number four we don't need to create a new layer for it we just keep uh, as it is uh, so one thing that will change is these two frames because uh, in this ones everything happens in inverse so I will show you in a minute what that means. Um, so I duplicate this frame. I move it here. All right, uh, as frame number five. And I pick number uh, two uh, of the layer. And I duplicate it. And I would say this is gonna become, uh, now it's tricky, but I would say it's gonna become number five because we don't use number four for anything but that's fine okay frame number five is there let's remove everything uh, so let's remove it from all the other uh, frames and just leave it on uh, you know frame number five we have layer number five as usual so now what happens is the other arm goes forward and the left arm will go backwards so how do we do that we just take this arm and move it forward somewhere here I think that's gonna be fine uh, let's you know the, there is more light now on the arm so I would actually add a few pixels here oops I have opacity oh, sometimes that happens like if you have this weird semi-transparent color you just bring the opacity back cool uh, I would extend a little bit the arm here let's do all the pixels that we need and I remove this arm you know arm back and now the arm goes forward so we need to do the same thing with the frame number six now in the final frame uh, so let's duplicate the frame number five okay and let's duplicate layer number five and call it John six oops 
Okay. So let's do the same thing. Let's remove, uh, let's hide, uh, you know, all the frames. Leave just John number six. And for all the others, all the other frames, let's hide John number six. So we have John number six just on the last one. Cool. So as we did before, we just move him up a little bit as we did with the frame number three. And same thing, uh, you know, we extend the legs a little bit to create this kind of illusion of, uh, of running legs. And we can actually now add the other arm, but we need to move this one a little bit up. Let's try that. Okay. And let's add the arm behind. Okay, cool. And yeah, let's move back the pixels. Uh, so I think we can actually move this arm a little bit forward. Uh, right now it looks a little bit weird to me. Okay, that's fine. Even if it covers the face, this mm, this is gonna be a short frame, so that's fine. Let's do something like this. It's okay. But now you know you remember we did like this face uh, face movement on the uh, third frame. So we need to do same thing here, but in the other direction. So because if you move your right arm uh, forward, you move your head a little bit to the right. So let's try to do that. Hope. Done. And now we can actually uh, remove a little bit of the ear here and show a little bit more of the face here, like this. All right, so let's see how our animation looks right now. Yeah, here we go. So you have your uh, really fun and uh, bouncy animation of your character. I hope that was helpful. Obviously, a few uh, tips I can give you, you know, you can uh, smoother this animation even more, uh, you know, by adding more frames. Uh, but generally I would say, you know, six is a good number. It creates a really nice cartoon animation uh, You can play around with, you know, squishing things, uh, you know uh, Like bouncy things uh, you can add some uh, Blur effect here and there. So this will all help to make your animation smoother and more fun and look uh, quite interesting so just, you know, keep experimenting. This is just the base for you uh, um, to play with. Uh, but, you know, it's all up to you how you want to uh, push your art forward. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe uh, to my channel. Follow me on uh, Twitter, Discord. All, all the links are in the description. And I hope this was fun and see you next time.